is up guys nico sports cards here come in back at you with another video hope everybody's having a great day out there keeping it fun keeping it moving we got something i've done one of these before these psa reveals but i got a couple of them in the works and let me tell you uh these are freaking awesome they took forever to get back i submitted these i want to say like october of last year they just got back to me or they're coming in rolling i should say but they're coming back um I have, so I'm gonna do a series. I'll probably do a video on this one. I got another one I'll do a video on, and then I, a third one should be coming soon. Um, I've already seen the grades of these. I'm sorry, I could not wait. Apologies, but uh, I wanna show you guys what I got and how I did. So without further ado, let's rock and roll on some PSA reveal. All right, so let's see how we should do this. We'll go upside down. Let me give you guys a little bit of background. So as you guys know, PSA changed their pricing. So it used to be like 15 bucks a card for modern, then it went to 18 bucks, then to 20, 22, then around 25 bucks a card, I was like, you know what, I better send some stuff in because I think these guys are about to go crazy on their pricing. So I sent these in in October. Um, I used Card Collector 2, you guys should check them out on Instagram, Card Collector 2. Uh, as my my submission broker, I guess. <clears throat> and it was 25 bucks a card. This was back in October or September. At the time, it was supposed to be a 20 day submission, meaning 20 business days, these things are supposed to be back. I figured, all right, maybe it won't be 20 days, maybe it'll be 30, maybe it'll be 40. Well, it turned out it was about nine months. So that's a long time. But they just came back to me and we're gonna see how we did. Now, the last thing that's interesting is PSA did change their pricing. It's $300 to get a card graded. So keep that in mind now. So if you've got a card that you think might be worth 100 bucks in PSA 9 or 200 bucks in a PSA 10, it is not worth sending in. You would never send that card in. You've gotta have a card that a PSA 9 is gonna be like 400 bucks and a PSA 10 is gonna be 1,000. Otherwise, you don't send it in a PSA right now. So there's something to be said about the value of, uh, of these sort of mid-tier cards right now because no one else is gonna be sending them in. Anyway, let's get started. First one is a Trey Young. Now, I don't really collect basketball, but I got one of these cards. It looked clean, so I sent it in. And it's a PSA 9. So it's the 18 Donruss Optic Trey Young Blue Velocity. For you basketball collectors out there, you will know a lot more about this card than I do, but uh, it looked clean at the time, so I sent it in. Anyway. That's the first one. Next up, this is a Josh Allen rookie card. Uh, Prism. Boom. We got a 10 on that one. Now that is sick. This is, a, this is a valuable card, guys. I'm not gonna lie. You guys can look it up. It's a valuable card. And if he plays well, this is gonna be an extremely valuable card. So I was super psyched about that one. All right, again, some of these, because it was 20 bucks to 25 bucks to send them in. These are lower, some of these are really low end. Terry McLaurin, rated rookie from um, Optic. This is a base rated rookie, but it did come back a PSA 10. So we're doing well, we're doing well. Okay, 2018, excuse me, 2016 select Kenyon Drake. I just love this card. It's a tie-dye card. It came back a nine. Now. This is what I'm, I've, people have warned me about this and I'm learning it the hard way, but thicker cards, thick stock cards, jersey cards, they grade them insanely hard at PSA. This card I looked at, I got this like, look at this, what I got. Check this thing out, okay? This thing, if I'm not a PSA grader, I don't know what I am. I got, I got all, this thing's got lights in it, it's got 5X magnifying glass. I looked at this card like crazy. No scratches, no corner wear, no nothing. Came back a nine. So these, be careful when you're sending in jersey cards, guys. You do not expect to get a 10. It's really hard to get a 10. Okay, next up, 2016 Joey Bosa RPA from Select. Again, same deal. The centering is a little off here. Now that I'm looking at it a little closer, it's definitely right to left, but they smoked me on it, 8.5. But still a pretty sick card. Look at that. Joey Bosa out of 49. Okay, let's keep going. This is a 2018 Illusions base Lamar Jackson rookie card. It's just a base. 
but we got a 10. Again, these base cards, when I sent these in in October, up, in, up until like February, these base cards were jamming. Now, not so much. Ooh, this one is just embarrassing that I sent in. 2019 Prism Draft Picks, Dwayne Haskins, Blue Prism, and it only got a nine. Let me just give this away this way. I don't know why I sent that one in. The card was pretty sick, but I don't collect college uniforms. It just looked clean, so I sent it in. Okay, 2019 Hunter Renfro Prism Rookie. We got a 10 on that one. So let me, you know, I'm gonna split these up between nines and tens. Cause I did, what I did is before I sent these in, I kind of pulled out a spreadsheet and I was like, all right, what do I think they're gonna grade? And I will tell you, I did a little bit better than I thought. And people have been complaining that PSA has been grading very difficult. And I think they are for super high pop um, cards and vintage, but some other stuff, I don't know, I did better than I did better than I thought. All right, 2016, Dak Prescott, select rookie. This is a base, but I got a PSA 10. Not a bad card, and I think he's gonna have a, like a stat-wise, he's gonna have a monster year. Monster year. Okay, 2016 select. This is an XRP of Leonard Fournette. Again, at the time, I just thought the card was really sweet looking and clean, so I sent it in and we got a 10. So these XRPs are one of my favorites. They're the first, they're really the first Prism rookies that come out. So he was a 2017 draft pick, but this is a 2016 card. So you pull it out of the 2016 packs, um, you get a card in it that says XR, um, XRC, and it would say like running back three. So it'd be the third running back drafted in that class or XRC, I think he might've been the first running back drafted. So it would've been XRC one. But you could put, if you could've pulled up Mahomes, that card in PSA 10 got up to like 20 grand or something. Anyway, another 10 there. Okay. This is a 20, no, this is 2003 Tom Brady Bowman. It's a base card, but again, it looked clean. We got a nine out of it. Not bad. I mean, it's like a $100, $150 card. I pulled it out of a pack out of one of these uh, um, sub boxes I get. So, you know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks to grade it. It's worth 150. It's probably worth 20 raw. Not bad. All right, this one's kind of cool. Brandon Ayuk, 2020 Legacy. It's numbered four out of 100. It's an auto, bronze auto, and it came back a 10. It's a pretty sick looking card. Premier Penmanship Bronze. The pop on this is maybe two. That's the other thing about some of these. Because now, forget it, no one would ever send this card in to get to hit PSA at 300 bucks. There will never be, my guess, there's never gonna be another I think the pops two on these, there will never be another one. So if this guy blows up and goes off, I got one of two. All right, Kyler Murray, 2019 Dunrus Optic, 10. Just a base, but pretty sick. All right, this is a 2019 Phoenix Kyler Murray rookie, 287 out of 299 red. Crushed it. Rookie Rising, 10. Sick card. I think I put it, I can't, I just put a couple things on eBay. I don't remember if I, I took photos of this one. I think I put it up. I'm regretting putting it up because I think Murray's gonna have a big year and his stuff's gonna skyrocket. All right, 2016, Donruss Optic. This is a hollow of Zeke. This is a rookie and we got a 10 on it. Beautiful card. I think these hollows are so underrated. I don't know why people don't go crazy off them. It's all about prism silvers and select silvers. Donruss Optic Hollow, I'm gonna save this one because it's a really good looking card. Yeah, um, Donruss Optic Hollows are, are sweet. All right, Kyler Murray, another rated rookie. I think this is a base as well. Yeah, this one just got a nine. But not bad, I mean, it's a $100 card. Again, selling it raw, 30 bucks, maybe, 40 bucks. PSA 9, 100 bucks, cost me 25, that, the math works. Today it does not work. Okay, then a uh, 2019 Prism, this is a base Kyler Murray, nine. A little bummed about that one, because this one I've looked over and I'm not exactly sure what the nine is about. Centering looks okay. 
corners look clean. I'm not sure, but maybe it's pop control. All right, this is the last one I'm gonna show you guys. So I don't, I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I think I'm a big Devontae Adams fan. I just think he's like insanely talented. And maybe it's maybe it's Aaron Rodgers, who knows? We'll find we might find out. But uh I looked through some just like an old pile of cards of Packers cards and I found this 20 uh 14 Tops Chrome Devontae Adams rookie, 22 out of 199. And I looked it over and I was like, man, this thing is clean. So I sent it in and I got a gem 10. This is a pop two of the blue refractor sick card i mean the light's not really doing it justice i mean i guess it is actually but one of the nicest cards i've ever sort of as far as just how it pops off the card because the refractor kind of has that green and yellow it's just awesome anyway pop two on this I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'd love, I'd love it to go to a, a big Devontae Adams collector. I don't know if there are many of them out there, but um, this is going to be a tough one. I don't see the pop going much higher on these. I mean, these are seven-year-old cards. Most of these are probably banged up. There's some on eBay, but there's there's a lot of nines. There's not a lot of tens. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what I got for you guys. So look at the stack. Look, the majority of what I sent in were tens. The rest were nines. I got one eight, eight and a half on that Bosa. But there's no question. I mean, this probably cost me. I didn't count how many there are there. I mean, maybe there's 23, 24 cards at 25 bucks each. So, uh, you know, maybe this was $500 to send in. There's no no way I didn't make $500 on this. Like this Devontae Adams probably sells for 75 bucks ungraded and several hundred dollars graded, maybe more, given it's a pop two. I think the Josh Allen, where's that Josh Allen? That one alone, I don't know where I put that one. Like this is, this is probably, by sending it in, it was $500 right there. So look, at the time, with the way PSA priced it, it was worth it, but I don't know how it's gonna play out now. It's gonna be interesting. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna do another video because I got another box coming in. We're gonna do PSA reveals. We're gonna do boom box. We're gonna do all kinds of sub boxes. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please have a great day. But for now, I'm out, peace.